Daddy, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I don't know why she does that, but for some reason, the dog, she's half my dog and half my dad's dog because we share her. And she always has to look in the bowl like that and peck her food down. I don't I don't know why that is. I mean, we've had her since she was a puppy. And she's only done this, I think, in her doghood stage, adulthood stage. I don't know why she packs her food down like that. We've never had any other dog do that. <laughs> but she does it and we're like, what are you doing? I mean, she just looks in there like that, like at her reflection and just packs it down. <laughs> so, today I thought I'd talk about what it's like to work at a movie theater. And for those who, if you're ever curious about it, the movie theater is basically a job for high school students who want to make some extra cash during the holidays or the weekends. But if you also want to see a group of brain-dead customers who always leave their brain in their eyeballs at home because they can't read or see anything, work at a movie theater because it's awesome. Like, every place has their hours of oper operation. Operation. There we go. Operation. And it's like we would have the main double doors and stuff, like the main entrance people go into, and we would have doors kind of going around the front of the building. And people would do this thing to where we would open, back when I worked there, we opened at 1045. We opened 15 minutes before the movie. I don't know why we didn't open earlier. That's just what the hours were because the first show was like at 11. So people would go to the first double doors and they would try to open it. Then they go to the next set of open doors and try to open those. And they would go all the way down open, trying to open up every single door. And, you know, it's like we would be getting stuff ready and then we would just kind of stand there and watch them. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, the first, oh, okay, these doors are locked. How about these doors? Okay, these doors are locked. Now, how about, okay, no, these are locked as well. Let's go down here and try these. It's like, why would the last double doors be open, but yet the main entrance doors would be closed? It's like, it's like they're closed for a reason. People would always make an excuse to try to come in early. Like, excuse me. I, excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah, can I just use your restroom? I just need to go real quick. I just need to use it real fast. Like, I'm sorry, but we can't let you in until we open. Well, what time do you open? 10.45. I just can't come in and use the restroom. No, because if you come and use the restroom, then you're going to want to buy stuff and buy a ticket. We're not open yet. Or they do this thing to where it's called... It, customers do this, and it's happened to me several times before. When you, like, if you're not open yet, or if a customer needs something, and you're currently busy assisting customer, you tell them, you know, politely, you'll be right with them as soon as you finish helping this customer, and they always say, oh, that's fine, that's good, I can wait, and they do this too. I don't know why that is. It's like, they be standing, you know, waiting at the box office for us to open, like, as soon as I walk up, you should be open. I don't care if you have rules and policies or hours of operation. You should be open, okay? It's like they always think that. So they come up to box office and just stare at us through the glass. Like, maybe if I stare at you long enough, you'll actually let me in. I'm the customer. Do as I say. <laughs> as I say. And they would do that. They would just stand there like... <laughs> like I, it's like, what is staring at us going to do? And we would hide. We would actually hide behind something. Like some pillars that we would have inside the building. Like hide between them. Like, okay, they can't see us, we're invisible. And you know, like, they'd be banging on the doors, and little kids would have their mouths like, Are you open? Are you open? Hello? Like, we will open shortly. And then one thing we did was, we sold Pepsi products when I worked there. We used to sell Coke, but what some people don't realize is that Coke is actually more expensive than Pepsi. Pepsi is a cheaper product to sell. So some companies... We'll go, we'll either just sell Pepsi products because it's cheaper, or they'll change from Coke to Pepsi. So we got rid of our Coke ICs, which were a huge hit, and then, you know, rid of our Diet Coke, so people would be really mad because we didn't have Diet Coke. And they're like, oh, Diet Pepsi don't have Diet Coke? And so we would have a big Pepsi sign, you know, the big soda fountains right there, a big Pepsi sign, lit up. We didn't really have stuff in front of it hiding the sign, lit up right here. Here's my register. Here this is. Pepsi. People come up. Yeah, can I have a Coke? I'm like, we have Pepsi products. You don't have any Coke? No, we have Pepsi products. We have, you know, or what all do you have to drink? Uh, Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Root Beer, Dr. Pepper, Sierra Mist, Chuckle, Fruit Punch, you know, stuff. So, I'm just like, it's right there, people. It's like, it's right here. I was like, oh, what about over there? You have any Coke over there? No, we don't have any Coke over there. Oh, what about over there? You have a Coke over there, right? 
No, we don't have any Coke over there. Do you have any uh, vending machines? It's like, I don't know of any movie theater that actually has vending machines because the concession stand is where a movie theater actually gets a majority, you know, that's what pays their bills. The box office goes towards the movies, actors, the directors, all that stuff. Concession stand is what pays for everything. Is Well, that's what I was told when I worked there. So, you know, they come up and they always try to argue with you about stuff. It's like, you know how the store will get rid of something and the customer wants it, then they'll ask them about it, you know, like, well, why'd you sell conk? Uh, well, we got rid of it a few years ago. Well, why'd you get rid of it? Well, corporate made a decision to switch from Coke to Pepsi. Well, you know, how long ago was it that they did that? Probably about a year and a half, two years ago, I guess. Are they ever going to get Coke back? I don't know. Because <laughs> you know people in retail, when you change to a new product, customers always want to know what the heck happened and why they did that. You know, it's like, I don't know. It's just, uh, this is what we have. I don't know. And one time we actually ran out of uh, Coke products, like the syrup to make it. We had no soda. If you ever want to see some pissed off customers just run out of soda at a movie theater, it's like, I couldn't help it, you know? I mean, it, we sold more soda than we thought. But yeah, it's it's an interesting job, and I'm not going to do about, you know, the rest of the customers today, like customers who are on drugs and drunk, because that's going to make this video a little bit too long. So that's what I have for y'all today. That's just some of the stuff of what, you know, doing working at a movie theater that I went through. In the next video, I will do of how some customers acted. Thank God we would have cops, you know, on duty there during the week. And so, yeah, if, if you ever want to work around creeps, just work at a movie theater. It's awesome. So that's all I have for y'all today. Uh, hope everybody had a great weekend, a beginning of a good week. So yeah, see y'all later.